Philip Simpsons, my name is Christina, and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today is Classic Movie Thursdays here on my channel, my version of Throwback Thursdays. Today's movie I will be reviewing for you is Waterloo Bridge from 1940, starring Vivian Lee and Robert Taylor. Waterloo Bridge starts off with a flashback told from the perspective of Roy Cronin, played by Robert Taylor. He's standing on Waterloo Bridge in England, and it is during World War II. He's in his uniform, he's an older man. They dyed his hair, his mustache, his eyebrows to show you that he's older, and he is reminiscing of a time during World War I when he also served in the military. Roy thinks about the time that he met Myra Lester, played by Vivian Lee, on Waterloo Bridge when there was an air raid warning that went off and they were both on the bridge at the same time and he ran into her, her stuff went all over the place, he helped her pick it up and then in the shelter they started talking to each other and they really really liked each other. Myra was a dancer in a ballet and he went to go see her play, he like romanced her and everything, they really really came to love each other and they wanted to get married but unfortunately they didn't get the chance before he left. Roy writes Myra that his mother is going to be coming into town. She wants to meet Myra and get to know the woman that her son loves. So Myra meets Lady Cronin because Roy is part of some like nobility line in Scotland or something like that. And uh, they meet at this tea room and before the mother gets there, Myra sees in the paper that Roy is listed as one of the men killed in action. She doesn't say anything to Roy's mother when she eventually shows up. She doesn't say anything and she acts really weird and it kind of puts Roy's mother off a little bit to Myra and Myra is just so devastated and she doesn't have a job because she was let go from the ballet. Uh, the woman who ran the ballet was just really nasty and was like, okay, well if you're not going to put your heart and soul into it, then you can just leave. And Myra's friend Kitty stood up for her and also got fired. Myra was like, Kitty, how are you making this money? You don't have a job, you're not in this, you're not in that. And in so many ways, Kitty says that she is a prostitute and then Myra turns to prostitution because she can't find anything. There's no shows going on that she can be a part of or anything. And one day, Myra goes into Waterloo train station and she was looking to pick somebody up and a train comes in with all soldiers and Roy just happens to be on that train. They still love each other. Myra is beyond upset because of what she's done in the past since Roy wasn't there. She wants to tell him so bad, but at the same time she doesn't want to, And but she knows she has to. He takes her up to his family's home in Scotland and they all love her. They love Myra. They think she's great and everything, but she's just fighting this urge, this she's so afraid to say something and because she loves Roy she sees how much honor his family has and then finally she just tells Roy's mother in so many ways that she was a prostitute and his mother's willing to work it out like she's she loves Myra so she's willing to talk it out she wants Myra to tell Roy but she can see that Myra is thinking about the family and she really really does love Roy and there's nothing that can change her mind. The ending is a little sad I'm not going to tell you what happens just know that it ends with Roy standing on Waterloo Bridge in the spot where he and Myra had met before World War One. Waterloo Bridge is the first movie Vivian Lee had made after she completed and starred in Gone with the Wind and won an Academy Award for that and I gotta say Waterloo Bridge is an excellent follow-up for Vivian Lee compared to Scarlet. Scarlet is such a great role. She was so fantastic in, in Gone with the Wind. It's just, she's incredible. And then, you know, Myra was like the complete opposite. Scarlet was a determined bitch on wheels. And then you have Myra who was so sweet and so kind and really did love Roy and truly, truly loved him. She didn't have to wait until the end of a movie to realize like, oh, hey, I love this guy, you know? She loved him throughout the movie and it was just such a difference and I love thinking about Gone with the Wind and then watching Waterloo Bridge and what a difference 
her characters are and truly how great of an actress Vivian Lee was. She was just so good and I think Robert Taylor was a really good co-star for Vivian Lee in this movie because in Gone with the Wind you had Clark Gable who was this like big boisterous presence and then you had Leslie Howard whose character Ashley is like such a wimp, he's such a whiny pain in the rear in that movie but then you had Roy and you had Robert Taylor playing him and it was just perfect he was like right in the middle of Ashley and Rhett from Gone with the Wind he was just that perfect guy that is excellent and I'm so happy to see Vivian Lee play with Robert Taylor in this movie it's Waterloo Bridge is just such a wonderful movie it's so well filmed well acted just everything that the writing is good the story tugs at your heartstrings and you feel so bad and I felt really bad more because Lady Cronin was willing to work with Myra and be like okay well you know you, you thought my son was dead that's okay like we can forgive that but you know Myra just saw that the family had so much honor and she just couldn't live with herself she was just too honest about that and she ran away and I just I thought that was just such a, a it's sad I'm not gonna I want to say pretty story but it's sad it's good you know it does what a movie's supposed to it's supposed to rip your heart out it's supposed to make you feel things and the acting you know they're supposed to make you feel things and I I just I love this movie all around and if you have not seen Waterloo Bridge I highly highly recommend that you go and watch this let this be your next classic film that you watch and enjoy it. That was my review of Waterloo Bridge. If you like this review in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. If you have seen Waterloo Bridge, if you like Vivian Lee, you like Robert Taylor, whatever you want to discuss about the actors, the movie, anything, leave those there. And also in the comments, leave any movie suggestions you may have, be them classic movies or other movies, it doesn't matter. And if I pick your movie and I watch it and I review it, I will give you a shout out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe subscribe button for future classic movie thursday reviews and other movie reviews because that is what i like to do here and as always keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous